you mentioned resources, and, and I, I want you to respond to critics who suggest that, that you and the union are, are asking for too much. You're, you're making it too difficult to get to a point where you can reopen schools by what you're asking for. The Wall Street Journal editorial page right. the other day accused you, mentioned you specifically, and the union of taking part in what they call political extortion for the demands that the union is making. Frankly, you know, the, the, so let me respond directly to Wall Street Journal. We have a resolution that we put out this week, or, or excuse me, last week, that lists specifically the safety safeguards that one needs that come right out of the CDC. We are the moral conscience of what we need to do for schools. And if the cruise ship industry could get the bailout that they got and the airlines could get the bailout that they got, kids deserve at least that much. What some of my locals and some other locals did on Monday was they said with parents that these are the equity issues that are needed to actually confront structural racism. What we're saying is that would be great to get all of that, but we need the PPE. We need the cleaning supplies. We need to make sure that buses are staggered. We need the digital work so that kids can actually be online. We need to make sure we feed kids. I do not think that that is too much to ask for our children in America. Look, I'm, I'm looking at some of the reports that are at, at least on Twitter about the state of the negotiations in Washington, and there seems to be some progress, but no deal yet, at least on the right. education front in terms of the dollars that are needed and, and how they'll be allocated. But do, do you support teachers going on strike? I support teachers and parents having safe schools. And if the only thing we can do, meaning if after we've tried everything to make sure that it's safe, as a last resort, if people utilize a safety strike, that is to make sure that it's safe. What we don't support is the kind of denial of the virus that has been going on. What we don't support is that, uh, is Ron DeSantis pretending that there's no virus in Florida. That is, you know, that is wrong. And frankly, we already see from Israel that when you try to do it, um, you know, the way in which Donald Trump wants to do, and in Israel, they actually did tackle the virus, but he wanted to have full schools. That's what Israel did. They closed. The head of the coronavirus work in Israel said it was a total failure. So if the government is not actually protecting people, we are going to try to do that. We did not become teachers to be safety monitors, but we have a responsibility to our children and to ourselves to keep people safe. Well, and what I, think about, what I think about is I think about all those um, educators, those nurses, the, the other workers who are saying to our government, please, we don't want to bring coronavirus home. We don't want to bring it home to the elderly parent that we are taking care of or to the, our kids who may have be asthmatic. Yeah. I think they have a right to believe that and to expect their government to do better than it's doing right now. And there are those who say it may not be perfect, but we got to get our kids back to school. We got to get their parents back to work.